Noticing your breath and noticing as you lay down what it feels like just to be, just to not have to do anything for this amount of time that we're here together. Just feel what does it feel like to be in your body right now? What do your hands feel like? What does your belly feel like? How about your hips? What do your feet feel like? And take one breath in all the way. And just sigh it out, let it go. Start to do some windshield wipers. So we'll start to warm up a little bit on our back. And all I want you to do is just kind of wash out this feeling of rinsing through the hips and the low back. Maybe you're stretching the arms up overhead. We're going to practice a lot of lengthening stuff today. That's part of our theme. Lengthening the belly. Lengthening through the side body. So if you're doing a windshield wiper and you want to stretch to the other side, that sort of feels good. Take about three more. Now keep going on your own with breath. I am going to try to get this going here. The next time you even out the sides, come to center, we'll plant our feet down to the ground and lift up to some rolling bridges. So it looks, it looks like this. We're just pushing through our feet, lifting through our hips, nice and slow and coming back down, inhaling on the ground, exhaling to lift all the way up, inhaling to lower down. Now try to articulate through your spine and really feel the awareness of your back, feel the awareness of the vertebrae moving, and feel the flow of your breath. So we're just really going slow with this so we can breathe and warm up through the back, We'll add on, feet a little closer, right foot roots. As you lift up, you might cross your left ankle over the right thigh. If that's too much, skip it. Just getting a little bit of a flowing, very slow stretch, but just not making too big of a stretch here, focusing more on starting to activate some of the hip tissue, some of the lower glute maximus tissues. And go for one more with your breath. Noticing the belly, noticing your chest. The next time you come to the top, hold, just for a moment. See if you can feel through the foot that's on the ground. Don't worry which foot you're doing. We'll always do both sides, okay? So just notice that foot that's on the ground, notice that butt, and switch. So the other, that foot comes down, and we'll just switch. Ankle crosses the opposite thigh, and you'll start to breathe and lower, and let the breath be your music, let the breath be the symphony. Mm -hmm. Noticing what it feels like on the top, do you feel a little stretch on the side of the hip? Noticing if you feel the activation in that leg that's supporting you, and a good find your breath, so we inhale on the down, exhale slowly to rise up, and the next time we'll stay long enough to root through that bottom foot, feel the tissues, notice Maybe energize that top stretching leg away from you a bit, but notice that your hips are dipping. Even it out, stay. Release the foot, lower all the way down, back to windshield wipers with a little bit of a shift. Beginning with traction. So push your hands into your, right. let's bring our hip, heels of our hands into our hip creases. So not right in the thigh, and it's kind of an interesting one. So you're just gonna traction on the exhale by resisting thigh. And you can even dig your heels into the ground. As you resist, feel some space around your low back. Yay, now knees over hips, same thing. So maybe one at a time. Before we even do anything, I really want you to try to investigate the belly, the back, and everything staying the same. So as we start to do our transverse, transverse abdominus taps, our deep low belly um, activation, see if you're kind of moving around a lot, see what's happening here. This is not necessarily a bad thing, but we're focusing on this really deep, deep um, area muscle that doesn't require movement to activate. So you're just doing a little less and just sneaking one heel down, keeping everything hugged in. And if you want more, you'll just start to Bring one foot at a time farther away from you. 
Focus on the low belly and breathe. Heads relaxed, arms relaxed. If you notice yourself using your arms here to do it, then you're missing a little bit. Because we're just trying to focus on the low belly and just do less then. So you don't have to even bring the foot down to the ground. You can just do little minis. Or if you're like, wow, I really am not moving at all. My belly's staying exactly the same. My belly's hugging in. Then you might be able to make bigger movements. You still have 20 seconds. Keep going and feel this activation starting to take effect in the lowest belly. Trying to get the music on here, guys. So in four more, we'll hold one foot down. Doesn't matter which one, okay? So just one foot comes down, and what we'll do is try to push the leg that's up away. So push it, but don't let it feel the low belly. Really hollow the low belly and maybe hover that bottom heel. So you're not straightening the leg, you're just hovering it. We'll add on just a smidge. Keep that energy. Keep it arms overhead. You'll feel a little bit more there in that low belly. Keep it without arching the back. Keep it all and start to side stretch to the right. And now just lift both shoulders off the earth, off the ground for a smidge. And you're holding, you're super active. The knees are bent, chest, right shoulder lifts. Three, Ooh, two, and one. That's pretty deep. Roll to your side. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch. Take a breath. Side plank variations coming up next. Start with the bottom knee on the ground. I've got my right knee down. I've got my right hand down. It's really wrap through the core. So what that means is you're just hugging everything in. Plant that leg. So we'll bring the bottom knee up. You don't have to. You could keep it down. Bring the bottom knee up and the top arm open. So you're opening your chest as you set that bottom shoulder by pushing the floor away. Bottom knee down, lift top leg, stretch top arm. So see how sometimes we do this, which is nice too, but today we're getting more length and spaciousness. Hold and repeat the exact same thing. Bottom knee, but instead of bringing forward, Open the chest, the pecs, maybe even straighten that leg, you don't have to. Top leg, up and overhead. Repeat, same things, two moves. Length from the whole body, the connection of the whole body. Feel your breath, keep going, keep going. Notice your palm, I really want you to root through the L of your hand. Feel your side body. Ignite. Last one. Lift, stretch, open, come to all fours. So let's bring our uh, fingers toward our knees and just draw a little circle. So I have my knuckles down, palms up, and we're just making little gentle circles for the wrists, circles for the wrists the other way. All fours, cat cows. Let's add a big arch with inhale. On the exhale, a mini child's pose pushing back. Big arch with inhale, mini child's pose wrapping back. Do a couple more of these, still warming up. We'll meet in forearm plank. If you don't like forearm plank, come to high plank. So you can do high plank or forearm plank. Notice through the belly. I like to often really do this with my, my um, knees on the ground because I feel like I can really hug in through the belly. Hugging in so much through the belly. We'll add just little circles. So instead of hip dips, we're actually going to do little circles one direction. One direction so you're actually using the pelvis. You could be up here doing little circles, little circles. Now you'll go the other way or on the knees. Nice, you guys. I feel it. I feel like you guys are getting some sweat on just a little, starting slow. Now just find steadiness on or off the knees. Notice if you're here, even if you don't have a mirror. And this isn't bad, but you won't really get the ab lengthening that we're going for. So you'll lower that butt, push the floor, shine your chest forward, relax your neck, and just stay for next. So see how hollow you get that little belly up, up. Puppy, stretch. Reach the arms forward. Maybe stretch the arms to the right or to the left. And just let it feel good 
in through the body. Ah, very hard to multitask here. Um, <laughs> okay, we got down dog coming up. So go ahead, downward facing dog, cover the knees, push the floor, stretch out through the legs. And what I want us to do is a couple, we're gonna do some cardio along the way. Options, you don't ever have to do cardio. Walk your feet forward, get a little bit of stretch through the hamstrings, through the body. Roll up for the first one, lift the arms all the way up, lengthen, open, belly, come on back down. Here's where you can add a hop or a walk. This one will go all the way to our belly and do one cobra. Bow the forehead back down, downward facing dog. So it's sort of gonna be like a burpee if you want. Bend the knees, walk or hop light. Incorporate that half lift in the rise, maybe tippy toe or mini spring to the step. Bow, walk or hop back. I'm gonna skip the chaturangas, but you can add them in if you want. Bend the knees, hover, spring forward. Maybe hop from the low. Five more. Not too many. You can do this. Three. You don't have to add the hop. But why not get a little cardio too? Meet on the top. One. So we'll just dance. <laughs> no, you don't have to dance, but We're gonna get her right up, but we're having fun. We're moving our body in weird ways. This is another option. You're like, that's weird? Go for it. It'll yeah, be weird. Or maybe just stop. Do you want to bleed? So just try to get that heart right up a little bit. But if you're like, I don't want to talk. It's supposed to be in a yoga class. This is not what I signed up for. Well, you with me? Two, one, very good, you guys. Arms look up to the sky. Side stretches right and left. And you're going to use a little momentum. Spread the fire up. I'm not fast. Meet up over to one side, little pulses at the end, right? So if this hurts the arm, bend the elbows. Otherwise, keep the arms fairly active, pushing palms together. And it's not, we're not going slow, we're using momentum to flush, to flush, flush, flush. Other side, here we go. Keep going. So I'm at the end range. Or feeling that side body, pushing the hands, activating the arms. Really getting some energy through that side body too. One arm to lift, hands to heart, palm open, and take a breath. I'm gonna just I want you to feel the contrast. Dr. Dre, cardio fast, and now feel your feet, feel your hands. Really important part. Just take a moment. We're just here for a second. We don't always have to go, 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 go. Feel what it feels like to just stop for a moment. Awesome. Inhale, arms lift. Start back to the top. Exhale, bow. Make your way to all fours. Cat cow a little bit if you want. And all the way through to the back. Knees over hips. Tap, tap. Maybe get longer, longer, maybe. Okay, we'll be doing a hold coming up in 10 more seconds. So think less bicycle, feel more through the lowest part of the belly, and see if you can keep everything the same. It's deep. This is deep stuff, you guys, because usually we're doing a lot of extra movement, so we're just focusing on this. The left knee will stay up. Right heel to the ground, or maybe hover as you push the left thigh away with energy. A lot. If you want more arms overhead, keep it though. Keep that connection. Woo. 
She develops. Looks simple, but this is so on. Belly stays under. Our hips are stays under. Our knees pushing the weight. Ha! Hold. Maybe lift. Maybe side stretch to the left. Maybe lift the left shoulder up just a spin, but keep everything else the same. I'm shaking. Three, two. One side plank. Left side. Here's our variation. You can always bend the knees a little here. So set up that bottom shoulder, chest, bring that top knee up and open that arm above you. Knee down, leg lift, side stretch. Knee up, chest open, elongation. Knee down, leg lift, side stretch. A couple more, so just going through this here. Notice if that neck is doing extra hold and try not to use the neck as much as you, as you, sometimes we do over aggravate the neck three. Go as slow as you like to really feel. So I'm not just kind of flimsily lifting. I'm really getting that big length. This is, I'm feeling this in my obliques side of the belly. Last one, maybe you even straighten that bottom leg. You'll feel that in the undercarriage of your body. That's not really real accurate. Knee work. <laughs> and now lift here. Length. Stretch. Breathe. Two. Four. Plank. Adding on. Hover the knees. So we're trying to keep this length, hover, and belly wrap. Hover the knees. Just little semi half circles with the knees hovered, and we'll add on in three. Two. So the next time the hips come one way, you'll see if you can get the side of the hip toward the center of the mat, keeping the forearms grounded. Back to straight legs. Now bend the knees and hover the other hip toward the center, not the side, but toward the center. Keep the weight distribution even in the forearms. Bam. This is pretty challenging. We'll do slow motion. One more each side. Hover the knees. Side of the hip toward the center. Stay. Even the weight out in the forearms. Feel, maybe slide forward and back a little bit. Feel. Ha! Last time. Hover knees to the center. Slide forward and back a little bit. So again, my hip is in the center of the mat, or it's trying to get there. Even the weight out of the forearm. Three. Forearm plank, drop the knees and stretch. Down. Drop. Walk it out. Sun salutation of some sort to flow all that out. Right leg lifts. Big inhale. Knee to opposite arm hip. Lift. Bring it through. Low lunge. High lunge. Root. Maybe add a little hurt opener with a happy low back. Chest forward. Fire up that back leg. Reverse warrior. Stand and split over that front leg. Vinyasa. What about straight to down dog? If you want more, go through your vinyasa. Left leg lifts. Good, knee the opposite. Left leg lifts. Go lunge. Plant. Root. Rise. Now we start with the bending the back knee to set up through the pelvis, then work it to straight with that happy back. Bow into it a little bit. Dynamic lunge. Plumb line. Feel your plumb line reverse. Standing side.
step foot through the ground. When you feel that vibration through the body, feel that energy, that activation of the legs, just soften the shoulders, maybe lifting the arms. Three breaths. Notice your heart rate. See if you can soften into it. What if you're just scrolling through on Instagram? Why not just do this one pose? It could change this whole day for the better. Back knee to front knee. Now let's see. So we'll sit nice and low. I'm going to keep my right foot down on the ground. Lift my left knee as I rinse. Hold. So you might traction that thigh away from you. You might even lift the arms up. Stay. Bring that leg that's balancing behind you in an almost Almost like a curtsy, but that leg is more straight. Push through that front heel at a side stretch to the right. Wrap the belly feel. We'll be doing that action, that same exact thing numerous times. See if you can really plant through that foot that's in the front. Feel through that butt. Energize it. Lift the left knee, Panagustasana. Twist to the left. Now you might flow it out a little bit. You might dance it out a little bit. Pushing through. If you need it a little more mild, you'll tap. You don't even have to have that knee bent. Same side. Pushing through. Notice where it's wobbly. Notice the nuances. See if you can slow down. Transition. Notice the breath. One more. Meet in the one legged Tadasana pose. Start with the hands pushing the thigh. Now we'll lift the arms up. This is a breath of fire, so we'll be pumping the belly. Right here. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a breath. Listen close. Feet a little wider than hips. Hands can support you. We will be breathing out all the way and then massaging our belly like breath of fire on the exhale. So breathe in. Breathe out all the way. No breath, you guys. And try to pump the belly in with no breath. No breath still if you can. Inhale, rise. Good job, you guys. Reverse warrior, left foot steps back. Big inhale, open through that side bone. Maybe use your head as a weight to stretch more. Bring your front foot. Right back into a little hops if you like, or just one maybe, pushing the floor. Side plank, dip. Vanessa. Maybe keep that front foot, that foot in front, or kickstand it in the back, or lift it up like we did in the warm up. Done. Vinyasa, down dog. Skip the vinyasas and cobras. Big breath in. Big breath out. Walk her up to the top of the mat. Lengthen, rise, the tasana. Sit nice and low just for a moment. Left foot, left side. Stay rooted. Right knee lifts as a twist and hold. Stay. Take a breath in. Notice, outer fins hug in. So you'll come back center with the spine, with the torso, excuse me. And that leg will step back all the way through the midline, sort of like a curtsy, maybe at that side stretch for that back leg, back side hip, side body, and we'll repeat this a bunch of times, back to center, pushing through that front heel, lifting, twisting, standing, obliques, all the way back through, 
got to keep that length, maybe lower the knee a little bit. Maybe about five or more, depending on your pacing. Don't worry how many you do. Feeling through the breath, moving as slow as you like, not trying to get it brushed. Notice your breath in. Notice your breath out. Last one will hold. Adding the breath of fire on the top. Start with the hands pushing that thigh away. Notice your hip points, level. So begin, breath of fire, Kapalabhati, breath of fire, and begin. Maybe arms lift, but hollow that belly. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet down. Last time with this breathing exercise, you guys. So take a full breath in. And on the exhale, let the whole entire exhale go. No breath. So make sure there's no breath there. And we'll massage the belly in like we're doing breath of fire. But we're on the no breath exhale. Good, big inhale. Nice, keep that left foot forward. Make your way into reverse warrior. All the way, side stretch open. Feel through that side of the armpit, feel through the lower part of the belly. Bring your front foot, foot halfway back, palm the earth, and maybe find a little hop. Side plank or lounging lizard. Dip it down, lift it back up. Maybe crop that foot behind you to potentially do like what we practiced in warm up, pushing through that bottom hand to support yourself. Down dog or vinyasa. Oh. Take a few breaths. Big inhale. Walk it out a little bit. Big exhale. We're going to walk or hop through to lay down and take a little. I know this is it. We're not. We're going to take a little break just for about four seconds and do some more abs, but what I want you guys to feel is that contrast of that movement and just practice being in this moment, being still, feeling the body, feeling the breath. So we'll add on from our TBA tap. So you're gonna push through your thighs and as you just go here again, and of course you can always stay here because this is a really phenomenal situation here. This is so good for your belly. If you want more, you'll straighten that leg down and keep the arms up. Now, you'll bring hands to heart and twist toward the leg that's lifted and pulled. Lift through that bottom shoulder, so the right shoulder. Maybe connect the elbow to outer thigh and resist each other. Knees back. Other side. Heel tap or leg straight, stay. Try to get that knee away from you, wrap the belly. Lift and twist over that knee that's lifted. Maybe lift that shoulder off the ground a little bit and hold. Keep that belly thin, keep everything in and connected too. And one, again, one more in the slow motion. Bottom leg is straight as you can if that works and as low as you can to the ground. Feel that resistance. Lift and twist for three, two. Last time slow, you guys, you got it. The other heel, push, lengthen over that leg. Lift and twist. See if you can hold it slow. Sometimes slower is so much harder. Sometimes slower is deeper. And now we'll get our head back down, but we'll just do one at a time. And we'll go with a little more speed. Arms up overhead, lengthen out so much that you can almost feel like you're getting longer through your spine as you're doing this. And you can add a little side stretch. When one knee comes in, go to that side. And you're almost raising your shoulders on the earth. Start to feel this in the obliques. 
and then side stretching and the arms are way overhead, low belly. Just three, two, and good job, you guys. Hug it in. So this requires a lot of your own work. Make your way through to downward facing dog. Walk it out. One more standing series and the rest will be on the ground. Right leg lifts, big inhale. Open through that right hip. Maybe add a little rinse there. Knee to the opposite armpit. If you want, you can chatter around to this. Little mini push up. Maybe straighten that right leg, right leg back up. Climb your low lunge. Rise all the way up to stand by pushing that foot. Now a twist to the right. Back to center. Twist to the left with the left knee lifting. Back through. Twist to the right. Back up. Twist to the left. So lots of balance. Lots of core. Go nice and slow. Center. Rinsing to the left. Pushing through that standing leg. Rinse to the right. Again. One more. Each. So one more lunge twist. One more knee lift twist. Now we'll make our way into the lunge. Stay or add on. That left elbow to the outer right thigh. See if you can stick this fire up through that back leg. Maybe drop the back knee. Makes it a little more mild. See if you can keep the hips balanced. The belly supporting you here with all this belly work we've been doing. Notice that that left hip's dipping. Keep it level and don't expect too much range of motion and stretch through that or twist through that low back. Just try to twist through the upper back a little bit. Elbow to outer thigh. The top shoulder blade squeezes in. Maybe lift that top arm. Maybe swoosh that bottom arm. Makes it a little harder too. Good job, you guys. Right into horse. You can straighten the legs if you need and shake it out. Here's our stopping point. Here's our just dropping in point for the feet. Fill your chest. You now it's not about just trying to kill ourselves and do as hard as we possibly can, but it's trying to just come inside and feel. Skater with an add-on. So first do skater side to side and know you can stay here. So we're rinsing one side. Rinsing the other side, and this is a great place to stay. Or skater with this little rinsing effect. So it's it's just like we're trying to keeping the spine long. Slide that other knee in and rinse on the up. Now yeah, guys, just do that. Drop the bring the leg down slowly. Skater rinse, rinsing. Slide that other knee in, up, and rinse the other way. Slow down. It's complicated. The straight leg, the leg that's straight and not bent, is the one that lifts and rinse toward that leg. Good. So three more. Skater rinse. Ah. Catch yourself on the, where it gets wobbly, that's the part that you can really feel and start to work a little deeper into. You feel this through the belly. You move from the belly. That's a really cool thing to do, is move from this power source of your body. Actually makes it a little easier in a good way. But you feel the belly more. Last time. Last time to the back leg. Back to horse. Big inhale. Sit into it. Just a moment. Reverse warrior. Right knee bends. Frame your front foot. Right foot halfway back. Maybe practice your kick up. Last time, we'll practice here. This time, step that front foot forward to the outside of the hands. So option A, sneak that back heel to the front, 
Lower the butt a little bit. And back on to down dog. Kiss. I'll just show you that again. So right foot steps to the outside of the hands. Sink that back heel in. Right leg all the way back up. Option, the second option is to step that right foot all the way to the outside of the hands and sneak the foot all the way through. Maybe shy that top arm up. Back to down dog kick. Step the foot to the outside of the hand. Up to you, sneak that foot through. You can pivot. Two more. Foot to the outside of the hand. Hip range of motion, mobility. Strength in the hips and the belly. Last one. Ha, hold here for three. Maybe lift that top arm two. Maybe hover that bottom leg one. Good. Right foot will land forward. Stretch to that hamstring just briefly. Left leg up. Come to the tiptoes. Activate, ignite, and stay or add your hop. Lounging lizard. Dip the hips down. Ooh, feel that stretch to that right butt. Lift it up. Switch, so just sneak that foot behind you and maybe lift that leg up. Open through the chest, too. One, if you're really feeling like it, you can put that foot down and maybe get the hips open. Maybe add a variation of wild thing, but keeping that bottom shoulder super engaged and hugged into the socket. Vinyasa or down dog. Walk it out. Yay, last standing side, left leg lifts. Knee to the opposite armpit, maybe add a chaturanga or a straight leg hover. Inhale, warrior one, because I forgot it earlier. This has been driving me nuts. I've been trying to be present, but I'm like, oh no. Where, where am I gonna sneak that in? So just slow it down a little bit. Just feel the pause, feel the shift from all this moving and doing to be. Two I think less about trying to perfect the alignment and the, of the shape and feel more from the inside of your body. Just feel like what it feels like to be here in space right now. Right here, right now. In space and time. Blasting through the neck. Big breath in. Good, you guys. Okay. Crescent lunge. Shift and twist to the left, hip steady, back to center, knee to knee, knee lifts, the other way. We've done this already in a different sequence, a different, little bit of a different movement. Now we're going to the left, center, root through that front heel, big. This whole entire class, we're using the belly, we're using the core, so see if you can Try to really feel from the belly and move from the core. What does it feel like to move from the core? And energizing everything out from there. Balancing on that front leg, feeling where it wobbles, feeling where it's smooth. Two more. Right knee lifts. So we'll meet in that crescent lunge, twist, stay, or hands to heart. Feel the rinsing effect of that elbow to the outer thigh. Notice, so sometimes I see this, I see this dipping, kind of like this, I'm exaggerating. And all that's happening is the low back sort of collapsing a little bit. The low back sort of taking it a little bit. So what I want you guys to do is just feel that upper, upper body, that shoulder blade, maybe that top arm lifts, Maybe you skater through the arms here and rinsing, okay? Last breath in. Two. Horse. Come on up. A little bit different here, so lift the arms up. Come on low, stay. Take a breath in, smoothing the breath in. Smoothing the exhale out. This time we'll stay low. So we did skater and we lifted up before. Now we're just gonna do skater and stay low with an optional hover of that leg that's straight. So bending through low, maybe lifting that leg up, going through the low. See how you have to use your hips, but you also have to use your belly. This full movement, three. We'll slow 
slow as you can, feeling all the nuances along the way to neck. One more each. Good, this time we'll add a stretch, so toes in, heels down, just bow just for a moment. Relax through the neck, we're almost done, you guys. This is where you can sneak in a headstand if you so desire, or just take a nice stretch, melt through. Pivot to the left leg. All right, so the left leg will lift up. Here's our new move. Our, our next move, left leg, left foot steps to the outside of the hands. Your first option is to sneak that back foot forward and just kind of come low here. Just notice the energy of the left foot. Left leg lifts up. And you can do that again. That's what you can do this whole time. Or if you want a little bit more of a challenge, which isn't necessary, plant the left foot to the outside of the hand and try to get that back leg through. Sneak it through. So we have a few practices here. So the left foot steps to the outside of the hand. See if you can sneak that back foot through. Use your belly. Use your arm. Use your hips. Three more. Steps to the outside of the hands. Right foot sneaks through. Maybe let that top arm up and open. Good mobility, range of motion, strength. Two, belly work. Which is kind of in our theme. Belly lengthening work. Hold here. Maybe lengthen, maybe lengthen that top arm. Feel the obliques. Woo. Bring it back. Left foot steps forward. Give yourself one break for pyramid, just briefly. Lift that leg up. Notice if that ab work helps. So the other side, I didn't pause it to handstand, but you can always practice any time by breaking the mat with your hands, pushing the floor. Feel like you're almost trying to open two very tight jars, as you might spring it up. Lounging lizard, dip up. Kickstand the foot back, float the leg up, the bottom leg open, and maybe, if you're feeling it, push through that bottom shoulder, hug that bottom shoulder in, turn the spine to get that shoulder snug in there, open. Downward dog, walk it out. Make your way through to a seat, lay down again, and take the pause. It's like sometimes we just want to go, 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 but just feel what does it feel like to lay down and be for just a moment. We have our final little belly series and then we'll stretch it out, okay? So lay down, feel through your belly, feel through your shoulders and your head. And just take a moment. Stretch the legs in front of you. Stretch the arms back, and as slowly as you can, see if you can come to both. So one option would be to keep the feet on the ground and lift up just a little, or you could lift the feet up. And now we'll lower down slowly and add a little bit of a rock with our legs back, and a little rock to boat. Try not to use your arms unless you feel like you really want to use your arms and that helps you. But the point is not to go all the way to the plow. The point is just to try to find a little bit of a rock. A little bit of a rocking forward and back. We'll add on the three, two. So the next time you come up to the top, rinse to the right, keep the knees bent, rinse, and the higher up the arms over the head. That gives you a little more work. Try to lengthen through the spine and hold two. One, come all the way back. Other side, lift up, rinse the other way. See if you can try to sit on the sit bones, but kind of lengthen through that low back. Maybe lift the arms up. Feel the hip, the hip flexors are gonna have to work here. Feel the belly, two. One, and then back down. Ah, feet down, arms open. Feel through your feet, feel through. 
your belly rolling bridges up and down. Just a couple of rounds. Adding on. Right leg lifts. Left foot stays on the earth. Cross the ankle, rolling bridges again. Pushing through that supporting foot, which is your left one. And the next time you come to the top, stay and you snug shoulder blades in. If you flex through the right toes, feel through the outer hip, but also feel the support of that bottom leg. You notice we did this at the beginning of class. So what I want you to notice is the change in your body and the shift in your mind now. Lower down, keep that ankle crossed, and just kind of rock a little bit side to side here, tilting it to the left if you can, if that feels good. Just finding some form of a butt stretch that feels good for you here for a moment. Maybe stretching the arm away from the other arm away from you. Just making it gentle. We've done lots of twisting and abs. I just want you to let that feel good. Come back towards center. Feet down on the ground. Start with a few rolling bridges just to feel through your breath. Come on up. Left leg lifts. Set up the right foot, the right hip. Cross the ankle. About three or so more. Lifting up. Firming through that bottom butt a little bit. It has to to support you. Hold it on the top. Maybe snug your shoulder blades in it a little bit, just a little bit. And feel the stretch to the bottom and support you, even out the pelvis. Lower down. Stay with the leg there for a little hip stretch. Rock it in, figure four. Put the needle. You can tip it to the side and just get a gentle, relaxing stretch for the side body, for the hip. Big breath in. Big breath out. Come back to our center. Windshield wiper side to side a couple times. Notice the shift in the beginning of class to now. Good. This time I'll bring the right leg up to the sky. Left leg long. Do a little stretch through the right hamstring. Do a little ankle wrist. Just bring that leg halfway across your body. I happen to have a wall here, so I'll just get a nice little stretch for that outer seam of the right leg. Right arm opens. And you can take it to a bigger twist if you want. Knee to chest. Stretch through the pec just a moment through that right chest. And other side, left leg high. Hamstring, ankles, circles. Bring the leg halfway across. Outer seam of leg there. Maybe bending the knee and taking it all the way across you. Feel through this. Let this be very relaxing. Feel through that left chest and shoulder. Back to center, hug both knees to chest, draw circles, both directions. Replant your feet, and we'll do this one more time like we did at the beginning. Heels of the hands to the hip creases, give attraction, push, resistance. Take an exhale, lengthen. Notice the space around the low back. Oh, I think that feels so good. And if you happen to have a wall handy, Sneak over to that wall. Bring the legs up the wall. We're really calming. Adhikarita Karani. Leg up the wall. Shavasana. Noticing the feeling of the back of your head and the ground, your low back. Feeling your breath rise and fall. Noticing the feeling of your right foot 
all the way to your hip, through your belly, and noticing your left shoulder, all the way to the elbow and the left fingertips. Bringing awareness to your left foot, all the way down to the left, or depending on what position you're in, to the left hip, through the belly. Notice your right shoulder, to the right elbow and the right fingers. Rest. Now just let your head relax, eyes soften, jaw easy. Shavasana. still joining in live, we we will do an OM. And if there isn't anyone on right now, that's okay because I'm going to feel all the people owning different places, different times, and really we're all connected. There is no separation. So breath in. Namaste. 